If you've been watching any kind of stop drinking video over the past few months, then most of them are going to be talking about all the amazing things that happen in your life when you stop drinking. You know, there's probably 500 videos out there that's going to talk about the better performance, the better health, the better relationships, the everything, you know, all these good things that happen when you stop drinking. Are those videos helpful? 100%. Those videos can motivate somebody, can make them look at their drinking situation and say, yeah, is this really all it's made out to be? And listen, my videos, my channel, it's all about helping somebody remove the desire to drink so they see our goal for what it is, so good things start happening in their life, right? That is the mission of this channel, is to help people with that process. And I am all about positivity, right? But there's a problem. If I just talk to you about the good things that happen when you stop drinking alcohol and then you have a bad day, how is that helpful? right? We need balance. We need to talk about the good things, but we also need to talk about the bad things that can happen when somebody stops drinking alcohol. And today I am going to unpack the most dangerous thing of all, something that can cause relapse in every single person that stops drinking. And I'm, listen, this is not going to be about serious withdrawal or DTs or anything like that. And if you are worried about that, go and seek medical help. But this thing is even worse. It's so bad, but it's completely solvable. And by the end of this video, I promise you, this is going to change the game. I cannot wait to share this with you today. And just before we get into the video, if you actually want my help stopping drinking and you want to join the Sober Clear program, where we help business owners and professionals reframe the way that they view alcohol so it's like the desire to drink goes away. And then we use coaching to really focus on building a better life. And we've got a community of other people to do this with. You know, we've helped over 300 people. You know, and if you see the screenshots on the screen right now, you can see some of the results that we're getting. We just had a guy reach two years without a drink in the program. The results that we're getting in this program are unmatched. So if you want details, please click the link in the description and you can book a call and we can have a phone call and see if the program could make sense for you. Or if you go to soberclear.com, you can find more details, look at the reviews, etc., etc. But for now, let's get back into the video. So as I was saying before, when we stop drinking alcohol, we get all of these benefits, right? We're sleeping better. We're eating better foods, you know, Maybe our partners aren't annoyed at us anymore. Our kids are being nice to us and they're proud of us. And all these amazing things can happen. Now, one of the things that will happen to, I'd say everybody is, and it might not happen straight away. This, this benefit might happen a couple of weeks later, but all of a sudden we start getting clarity. And for me, it felt like I could see through walls, right? I just felt so clear and, and able to think so clearly. No more waking up with a hangover. And hey, listen, that, that first kind of seven to 14 day period when you actually stop drinking can feel very cloudy, right? It can just feel like you're just getting getting through and, it, and it's painful and it hurts. But then once you kind of break through that first kind of seven to 14 days, it's, it's a great feeling, right? It's like, whoa, this is different. And that can be an amazing thing. You know, you, if you've got a career, if you've got a business, if you're solving problems and you want a better life, then obviously we need clarity. And there's a very severe contrast from when you've been drinking for years and then not drinking on how clear things are. But this is where it gets dangerous. One thing that I've noticed from working with all of these people is a lot of people get this clarity. You know, they kind of have these, this, this first month where there's no problems at all, but then all of a sudden they get this clarity and they look at their life, what they've built over the past 40, 50 years, however old they are, they look back at their life and they're met with a level of unhappiness, a level of disappointment, and it hits them. And they're like, ah, oh, is it, what the heck? You know, they look in the mirror and maybe they don't see the person that they once were. Maybe they're out of shape. Maybe there's damage that's been done in relationships that's unfixable. Maybe they've got a, a career or a business and they're like, I've just been coasting. You know, I'm not where I want to be. And this is dangerous. And, I, and I'm going to unpack it for you in a minute. But that can be a very painful place to be in. You know, looking back at what you've built and not feeling happy and not feeling grateful and just feeling like, man, I've been living at 50% my whole life. That can cause a almost a level of depression, of, of deep pain. And, and here's what can happen next. Because if you ever get there, I'm not saying this happens to everybody, right? It happened to me, 1000% it happened to me. But what happens is it becomes a bit like a fork in a road. The first thing that can happen when you hit this point is you let it beat you down. You look at your life and, you know, rather than facing the problem, you start watching a bit more TV, right? You start ordering fast food, you start playing video games, right? And you just kind of, you, you, you feel the pain and then you escape, right? And this is a reason why I've actually said it many times before, but you know, the people that I work with, if you're the kind of person that does want to do this and sit around and watch Netflix, we're not a match to work together. But what can happen is we can end up going this route of escaping, right? We've looked at the situation, we're unhappy, and rather than do anything, we just escape through pornography, right? Some people start taking other drugs. Some people play video games, fast food, all of that stuff. It's all about escaping. And if you get real with yourself, what have you spent the past 20, 30 years, 10 years doing using alcohol 
to escape the reality that you have built. And if you don't face it, and if you don't accept it, and you don't take responsibility for it, what do you think is going to happen? Well, I'm not saying you're going to relapse, but I'm saying that if you've had a track record of feeling uncomfortable, feeling unhappy, and then drinking alcohol to escape what you've created, to escape what you've built, and you're on a journey of trying to not drink alcohol, and you don't face the pain, then I'm not saying that you're definitely going to relapse, but it's a dangerous game to be playing. And by the way, I'm not saying like this is because there's something wrong with you or anything like that. I'm not calling you an alcoholic. I'm not trying to beat you down. I'm just trying to be real with you. But if you've had a track record of escaping for 20 years through alcohol, you're trying to stop drinking, you look at your life, you're unhappy, and you don't do anything about it, chances are that you will drink again. But there is another path. There is a completely different path that you can take. You can look at your situation, yeah, and you can feel pain. You can feel pissed off at yourself. You know, if your kids, they're not looking up to you. If your wife, your husband, they're just absolutely, they're so annoyed with you. If your career's stagnated, if you're looking in the mirror, and you're out of shape, here's what you can do instead. You can take full responsibility for it. You can look at your life and say, do you know what? This is my fault. This is exactly, in, in every single way, it's 100% my fault, and it's exactly how I've designed it. It's not the fault of my childhood. It's not the fault of this trauma. It's not the fault of alcohol. It's not the fault of anything. It's all my fault. And I promise you, the moment that you take responsibility for the results that you've created in your life is the moment that you can take responsibility for what happens next. Listen, when I stopped drinking alcohol, I swear, I, oh, it was a disaster. I had wrecked my life. And I know this isn't everybody's situation. I know a lot of people, you've got a great life. You've got great things going. It's not like you're at complete ground zero, but listen, that's not my experience. That's not my story. When I stopped drinking alcohol, I was minus I can't even remember, you know, a thousand pounds in the bank, whatever it was. I owed money to my family because I borrowed some money to pay rent. In fact, I even borrowed money to buy groceries once. How embarrassing, you know, mid twenties, I should be taking care of my family, not flipping, borrowing money off them. I was working in a restaurant. I'd destroyed a business. I'd failed at a career in London. I was at ground zero. And listen, when I stopped drinking alcohol, facing that was painful. I was embarrassed. I was ashamed. And the last thing I needed was, you know, going... Listen, no offense, and I'm sorry if this is going to offend you, but the last thing I needed to do when I was in that place was go and see a therapist or go to an AA meeting and let them beat me down even further and let me talk about all the bad things that happened when I was a kid. I did not need any of that stuff. That was the last thing that I needed because I promise you, if I'd have done that, it would have just led me to drink again. I needed to look at that situation and get pissed off, get angry, but also accept it. Also take full responsibility for it. I was in that place because I put myself in that place. I chose to drink alcohol. I chose to get there. Sure, I've been conditioned. Sure, it's addictive. Sure, it's all of this stuff, but it was all my fault. But you know what happened when I accepted it? I didn't escape. I didn't start playing video games and eating fast food and sitting around all day. I got busy. I started taking so much action, more action than I'd ever taken in my entire life. And I went all in to going towards what I wanted. You know, I went back to the gym. I started a business from scratch one more time. Spent a few months building that full client base. I used to pour my heart into that business. I was working 12, 14 hours a day, no days off because I felt empowered. I felt empowered to make changes. I took responsibility and just started building. And then, you know, moved to Asia, moved to Chiang Mai, went to Thailand, built this business, built Soberclear, started putting my heart into this instead because that's what I truly wanted. You know, I wanted some kind of online business that was location independent and only good things have been happening ever since I took responsibility for my life. This should excite you. If you've stopped drinking recently, even if you stopped drinking in the past year and you look at the results in your life and you're not happy, good, because nor was I. But the great thing is, is that you still have the power within you to change. You're not powerless. You're not weak. You're a strong individual. You can build something great for yourself. And this is why I, I really truly believe that self-improvement is the answer when somebody has stopped drinking alcohol. It's getting very clear on a vision. It's getting very clear on what you want to do next. And it's evolving. It's becoming somebody better. It's becoming somebody that can achieve your dream. And when you combine reframing, changing the way that you view alcohol, seeing it as ethanol, as poison, and then rather than going to sit in an AA meeting for the rest of your life or going to a therapy session, and listen, I'm not saying therapy and AA is not valuable. A lot of people get great results with that. It just wasn't for me. And if you're watching my videos, you probably don't resonate with that message either. This isn't like a black and white thing, but for me, it was a black and white thing. That's why I'm being so certain about this, because it worked for me. And I've seen it work for hundreds of people as well. In fact, thousands of people that watch this channel, it's working for them as well. But the whole point of this video is to get busy with it. 
Decide what you want, decide who you want to be, and get to work. Get your head down and go all in. F alcohol, put that behind of you and move forward. I promise you, in six months' time, in 12 months' time, in two years' time, you won't even recognize yourself. You, it'll be like a completely different person. And also, if you click the video on the screen now, you can learn how to stop drinking just like Bradley Cooper did.